Hello and welcome to another Tuesday tutorial. My name is Stephanie and I'm the creative behind my print collection. On today's tutorial, you are going to learn how to create a ribbon effect. For this tutorial, I will be using two brushes that you can download for free and the link is in the description below. The first brush is a ribbon brush, which is part of my ribbon and outline set and I will use it to draw our ribbon layout. The second one is the sand brush, which is part of my texture set and I will use it to create the ribbon's shadows. All the links for the free brushes and dimension sets will be in the description below. If you stay until the end of the tutorial, you'll be able to see additional footage of some of the brushes in the ribbon set in action. If you like this kind of tutorials, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. A brand new tutorial will be posted every Tuesday. So without further ado, let's jump into today's tutorial. Let's open the Procreate app, add a new canvas. I'm gonna select screen size and you will add a new layer. And we are gonna go and work with a uh, medium um, green. And you can start by sketching out your word. I've already did it. And I'm gonna write the word smile. And now for this tutorial, I'm gonna use the ribbon brush. So I'm gonna go to my um, brush library, select the ribbon brush, and I'm gonna start drawing the um, word. Now that I'm happy with the word, the goal of the ribbon uh, effect is when you have the ribbon, you will have a lighter stroke, which is the ribbon that is in front of the, the light and a darker stroke, which is the ribbon that is behind when it folds. So for example, with this word, what we are going to do is, this is going to be the front of the ribbon, so it's going to be a light, this light green. This bit is the, the, the background of the ribbon, the back of the ribbon, so it's going to be a darker, a darker green. The front lighter, dark, the back uh, darker and the front lighter. So to do that, we are going to add a new layer on top of the layer that we've created. We are going to click on clipping mask and change its um, mode to overlay. So what the overlay does is we are gonna um, select the color white and black depending on the effect that we want. But when you select the color uh, black, it's gonna um, paint the, um, the ribbon with the clipping mask darker and white when you want a, dark, a, um, a, lighter, uh, a lighter green. So we have our layer and it's a clipping mask. We are gonna select uh, monoline. You can select the monoline from your Procreate uh, brush library. And we are gonna select the color dark. So to show you this, let's go with the, the, the S to start. We have the brush selected. We are gonna start drawing here and make the effect where And if you don't like, you can always erase and do it again or adjust to your liking. Now, since we have a clipping mask and you don't see in the background because it doesn't show, it's clipping only the word smile, you will have to draw and um, close the gap because if you don't do it, it will fill the entire word. But now that you've closed the gap, you're gonna hit, uh, tap, hold, drag and drop and it will only paint this. So if you wanna see here on the, the, the background, you can see that it's bigger, but it, since it has a clipping mask, it will only, only paint the part of the stroke that shows. So we have the front of the ribbon, the back of the ribbon, the front of the ribbon. This is gonna be the back as well, so let's continue. Oops. 
and again close the gap tap hold drag and it will fill the cup so it's a good start it's already it starts looking like a ribbon effect so i'm gonna repeat the process and complete my word So now that I'm happy with the result, it already looks like a ribbon effect, but we are gonna add a little bit more to it. So this bit over here, when you add the ribbon, which is folding, this, this bit should be a little bit darker than this bit over here. So to do that, you are gonna go to the library and select your sand brush. We are gonna go to our layers, add a new layer, Change this mode to overlay. And we are going to click on clipping mask. We are going to go to the, the shadow layer that we've created. Hit select. Go back to the layer that we've created. Make sure that the brush is selected. And this is my prefer personal preference, but I like to add some texture to my words so i'm gonna put the, the opacity 50 percent and increase the brush and just paint a little bit to give a little bit of a texture there you go now we are going to increase the opacity to 100 percent decrease the size of the brush so let's go with this bit over here so this bit should be a little bit darker too much over here like this the same here and now I'm gonna add a little bit of dark edges And I'm gonna repeat the process to the entire word. And now this is my personal preference, but I would like to add some um, highlights in the shadows because it's kind of the reflection. So on the same layer, change the color to white and go back and add a little bit of it, a highlight over here. This looks good. So now that we have our shadows, we are gonna create some effect on the lighter strokes. So we are gonna go back to our first layer of the drawing, add a new layer, create a, it already creates a clipping mask. And we are gonna change is um, the layer mode to overlay. And with the sand brush, what we are going to do is create a little bit of shadow uh, so i'm going to go with the color black i'm going to decrease to 50 percent increase the size of the brush add a little bit of texture and now we increase the opacity to 100 percent decrease and what i'm going to do is i'm going to add some 
shadow over here. And now that I'm happy with the result, I'm gonna add some highlights. So I'm gonna select the color white and I'm gonna add some highlights on the We've created this realistic ribbon effect. We are gonna add a little bit more to it. So I'm gonna go to my layers and the top layer, I'm gonna add a new one, create a clipping mask, and I'm gonna select the color black, change the opacity of the layer to overlay. And you can manually draw stitches around the ribbon or you, in the ribbon set, I have a brush that already does that for you. So this step is optional, but I'm gonna add some stitches. So if you go over here, created a nice stitch effect. And it's ready. We've created this nice ribbon effect. To add a little bit more to it, we're gonna add a shadow. So go back to the first layer that we've created, duplicate it, the layer underneath, click on select, color black, go back to the layer and click fill layer. Go to the selection tool, tap to drag it a little bit. And now we are gonna select Gaussian Blur and increase to your liking. I'm gonna do around 10% and you can leave it as it is or you can reduce the opacity of the layer do a little bit, 60%. And there you go, with a couple of simple steps, we've created this ribbon effect using the brushes that are available in the description below. If you decide to try this tutorial out, you can export your uh, piece of art and share it on social media. Make sure to tag me so that I can see your results. If you stay until the end of the video and as promised, here's a quick overview of some of the brushes that you can find in the ribbon and outside set. So, I'm gonna add a new layer. The One of the ribbons that is available, it's the um, ribbon brush standard, which is the one that we've used for our um, piece of art. So I'm gonna quickly show you how it works. There you go. The other one that you have is uh, similar to this one, but it has already a texture built into the brush. So if I do this and write, this has already a nice texture built in the brush.
as you can see it has this nice texture another brush that you will find is um, this brush will really help you with those light and darker strokes so it changes color it's the ribbon standard duo so for this one select the darker color that you want which is going to be the, the the background and if you don't apply pressure it will show you the darker stroke and if you apply pressure it will start transforming to the lighter version of the color that you've selected so let me show you an example There you go. This brush already does that um, dark and light um, effect and then you can erase those bits over here, those interceptions. And if you want, you can go over with the sand brush and add a little bit more to its uh, darker uh, edges. So another brush that you have is the same version, but uh, has a texture built into the the, the brush so again There you go. And this brush comes with other um, brushes in that we will go through an example of how to create an outline with uh, on your lettering or use one of my brushes, but that's for the ne next week's video. And you have also the stitches over here and you also have uh, other brushes that you can use as guidelines if you want. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and turn your notifications on. A brand new tutorial will be posted every Tuesday. Happy drills and see you soon.